Just a quick update on the Bixler 3 quad plane build, but before I do, wanted to share this uh, mobile workbench that I was able to put together over the weekend. As I've gotten into larger builds, I've needed more space, and so I found this uh, YouTube video. I'll put a link to it below, but it's really good, very straightforward to do. Only took me a few hours, and the guy that does the video says uh, it's for about a hundred bucks. I ended up spending a little bit more than that, probably about 120. You can see on the bottom I have the caster wheels so I can move this around in the garage. Plenty of uh, build space as well as storage space down below. If you're looking to do something similar, check out the build video. Uh, I've definitely been enjoying having this in the garage. I'd say I'm about 75% done with the build. Have all the wiring in place, just need to connect everything, but I wanna show you what I have so far. Uh, obviously, We'll need to dive into installing firmware, configuring parameters, flight modes, and all of that. Now, one thing I will mention is that I do have this cable harness you can see here, and this runs to the battery to power the four quad motors now. See, I put bullet connectors on all of these just so I could easily disconnect, but I realized I'm also going to need to get power to the forward flight propeller. I will definitely rework this. This is a little bit long, and maybe I can save a little weight there. I have the uh, GPS mounted going through this little vent into the Pixhawk Cube. I also have the safety button here and I'll just mention that I'm using this 3M double sided tape. It's uh, super sticky. It bonds really well so have this mounted here. It should be clear of the prop and then we'll find out sooner or later if there's any interference from that prop uh, being so close to the GPS. Just cut a small hole to feed into the cube when I need to configure it. Definitely a lot easier than having to uh, pull the whole flight controller in and out when I'm changing parameters. Let's take a quick look inside. I might end up mounting this ESC on the outside just so that's not sitting in there generating a lot of heat, causing interference. See the cube all the way down in there. And what I did is I just took some foam board and mounted the cube on top of that with some of the 3M adhesive tape as well as mounted the foam board to the bottom of the Bixler body. So that's in there real sturdy. Hopefully I don't need to pull it out to uh, connect anything else, but I can get my power in there. I have all my servo extensions ready to go. I've labeled them, see rudder and the forward left motor. I hope to have everything connected, ready to go this week. And then we'll dive into loading firmware, setting up parameters, getting everything ready for quad plane and I'll be sharing that in an upcoming video. I appreciate all the feedback and suggestions I've heard so far. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and until next time, thanks for watching.